What's up guys, Stitch Productions here, and today we're going to be looking at the Haya Toys Kong Skull Island Skull Devil figure. Now this is the latest Haya Toys figure that just came out, or the latest one I'm getting, and it comes in this very nice looking Kong Skull Island themed packaging. It has a nice picture on the back, that on the side, and you know, there isn't really much else to say about the box. I mean, it's a very nice closed box. Um, if you guys don't remember who the Skull Devil is, he, it is the monster that killed Kong's parents and was the final fight of the movie. And, you know, I honestly really like the design. I know a lot of people don't really think it's all that. People think it's a little boring, but I, you know, I, I like th this kind of design. It's kind of, it's very creepy. I like the skull look on the face. I always thought that was the eye and not that, but... You know, what more can you ask for with a Skull Devil figure? We uh, This is honestly probably our first real highly articulated Skull Devil figure because I know SH Monster Arts didn't do it and the only options that were out were like retail figures. So this is our first premium Skull Devil figure. So let's see how it turned out. And here we have the figure out of the packaging and he looks very nice. It feels like the figure was literally jumped off the screen. Now, even though this figure looks good, there are some very important negatives that I have to talk about. First things first, the paint on this figure. At some points, the paint looks very good. I mean, just look at that head sculpt. But then you get to things like the tail that are just literally pure black plastic with very minimal color on it. And it just makes the tail feel, I don't know, a bit cheap. And going back to the tail, the tail is all actually on a wire, which is not that good um, for longevity. If you're someone who likes to do like crazy poses, crazy bending on the figure, word of caution, because if it snaps inside, then you probably won't even know. So I'm very delicate with my skull crawler or skull devil, so I don't, you know, mess it up. Um, and the last thing I'm not a big fan of is has to do with the jaw. So when you open the jaw, you get this very, very, very realistic looking mouth. And it looks great. I mean, you know, you got nice paint on the gums, a well-painted tongue. But then you go to the gums on the side of the mouth right there. The camera can't pick it up, but this is made out of a flexible plastic that is the same as the tongue, but the problem is if you open it wide or wider, then the plastic begins to rip. My plastic actually began ripping already, so the figure is already technically deteriorating or whatever you want to call it, and that is uh, not something I'm happy about. You know, I, I like to keep my figures as the best quality as I can keep them for as long as I have them, whether I keep them forever or I sell them. But the fact that, you know, I if I really wanted to sell this figure one day, I have to advertise that there is a mistake in the jaw. That kind of sucks. Hopefully when they do repaints of this guy, the they fix that issue. But, you know, for issues like that, that can be fixed. And the tail, I don't know how they would fix that, honestly. Like, yes, they could just make it ball jointed, which would probably work out fine. But... The wire tail isn't that bad. It You're able to get really nice poses with it. Speaking of that, let's start with the posability because this is a very, very poseable figure. Head can move down that far, move up that far, left and right. Figure can T-pose like that. Has a swivel at the shoulder, swivel here. Has a double jointed elbow. Has a swivel at the wrist and can pivot has a swivel at the waist, swivel at, I don't, I don't know what I'd consider that, and a swivel at the tail, and like I mentioned, the tail is on a bendy wire, so it can get pretty nice organic poses, which, you know, I'm glad that you could do that, but it would have been nice if this figure didn't have that because, you know, it worked with Godzilla, like, and it works with their Ghidorah that I don't have yet. So, the, I don't understand why they made it like this. Maybe it was cost-cutting. Maybe it was just for 
so it looks good but i personally am not a fan of the wire but i won't deny it looks good and as i mentioned the posability of this figure is awesome you could get very good poses like look you could even get him that just um, ruined my point. But um, you could get very nice poses with this figure. It's a very hyper-posable figure. Um, the arms, the fact that it has double-jointed arms is just just great. The, the paint apps on this figure, or at least the paint apps it has, like on the head, is honestly like a work of art, to me at least. The paint itself is not too dirty, not too white, so it makes the figure look look good and of course all these figures that i'm reviewing i could touch up with paint if i really want to make it look like how i want it i could do that or commission someone to do it but out of the box it looks fine and overall that's about it with the figure i mean there isn't really much else to say i mean like i do feel that the Haya toys figures have been doing well and like i said considering this is our first skull devil figure I think it works out fine, since there isn't really much else to work with. Yeah, maybe SH Monster Arts might put one out, but they would have done that a long time ago, or for Godzilla vs. Kong, or Skull Island. They, they, they aren't going to do it. So this is the best we're going to get, and I think it is pretty good. But before we go to the final thoughts, let's do our size comparisons. For size comparisons, here we have the Haya Toys Skull Devil with Haya Toys Godzilla. SH Monster Arts Gigan. And the one that's probably the most important, Haya Toys Kong. Or this is the GXK Godzilla vs. Kong version. But it still poses pretty well. I'm very excited for that Skull Island version because, oh boy, does this figure have a lot of problems. But we'll talk about that another time. So, do I recommend this figure? I would say yes. Um, th there's a good possibility that we're going to get tons of repaints of this figure and that there will be other opportunities to get another version of this figure. But if you really want the Skull Devil, I think this is a worthwhile buy. Just keep in mind the tail and the mouth that those are issues that can, you know, ruin the figure if it breaks. So I would just keep that in mind when purchasing this figure and play with caution. But if you are, handle your figures well, then this figure should be fine and looks great. You could get tons of awesome poses and looks great on your monster shelf. And the fact that we're getting, that we're finally getting a Skull Devil figure is just, it's just, I'm happy that we have this figure. I think that's the most important thing about it. The fact that it exists now is just a breath of fresh air. But what do you guys think of this figure? Do you have it? Are you going to get the new Kong that goes along with it? Leave it down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.